Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we are going to be doing a salad and I was so excited when I found um, the endive at my local Hy-Vee store. These are amazing. Um, what you do is they just come apart just like that. They look like this. Now these aren't cheap. They are uh, pricey. Um, the one the, what I found was four ninety nine a pound, and I got about three three of these, or yeah, three of the large ones. So, um, but they taste amazing. So we're gonna be doing that. I have three um, endives here, and what then you want to do is you want to wash them really well. You want to cut the bottom off, and then you're gonna see here that you'll be able to get um these leaves apart and as you get lower you're gonna need to cut a little bit more and then a bit more is gonna come out and then cut a little bit more and just keep on doing it until you have um like um like this and these are really great because they're like little boats <coughs> the vegetables that i have chosen that's gonna go into my endives or into my salad is going to be i've got some shredded carrots here I have um, one bunch of scallions or spring onions. I have one small mango and I'll show you a little bit later what mango I've used. It's a baby mango and um, I'm just my thoughts are running out of my head today. Um, and then I have a half of a red, pepper, red bell pepper that I've diced up very, very small. I have in here hiding is some coleslaw, which is just some cabbage. And then here I have jicama. Now I have done a video on jicama. It is a Mexican potato or it's a root and it's super tasty, it's super crunchy and it's great for weight loss. So if you haven't seen a video of jicama or you don't know what it is, I will put a link so you can follow that. I have here an English cucumber that I have just cut in a different way. So it just kind of gives a little character to my salad. Um, you can change up these ingredients to whatever you like i'm also going to be adding some blueberries in here just for some color and a little bit of tartness um, we're going to be using some pumpkin seeds which are already roasted i love using pumpkin seeds they are just wonderful so we're going to be using that as a topping we're also going to be using about a tablespoon of sesame seeds now i have these are black and white you can use white or just black but i think black gives it a really nice color so for our dressing now i'm just going to tell you what it is and then i'll tell you so i've got half a cup of oil i've got two tablespoons of soy sauce. I have got one fourth cup of um, apple cider vinegar. I told you I'm losing it today, apple cider vinegar. And I've got a third of a cup of sugar. Anyways, what we're going to do is I am going to mix um, all my salad in here. So let's get started. Kakri or cucumbers, jicama, Coleslaw, Kanto Kobi, Lal Bell Pepper, Red Bell Pepper, Ambo, Mango, Spring Onion, Gajar, or Carrots. give this salad a beautiful I mean a really good um, stir now look at the colors it's just beautiful look at that oh yeah wow I just I love the colors you know they say that you eat um, and all the colors that you um, add they say that you are getting so many different kinds of uh, vitamins and minerals and tastes and textures it's just amazing so so we've got everything in here now we're gonna go ahead and add my sesame seeds in there in goes the sesame seeds okay stir that up really well now we're gonna go ahead and add the salad dressing in here
you want to give this a taste test and make sure that you've got wow you know it's it's super i love the salad dressing now you're not going to be using all this dressing so if you want to make half the amount that's up to you but usually i actually even make even more i um put it in my salad dressing container and i use the same dressing for my uh, oriental salad and um, there's a video already of that up there so if you want to check it out that salad turns out amazing i learned how to do that salad about 23 years ago when i was going to college so now so we've given this a good taste test it's perfect so now we're going to start assembling our boats so we're just going to fill these up like that like that and then now the reason why I don't add the sunflower seeds into my salad is because if I did have leftovers then this the it becomes really um, soggy the and soft and I don't like that so I usually just add some on top just like that for crunch all right so let's make one more and these are amazing for parties because they are so great as finger foods as well so get a mango in there there you go and um they're great for potlucks too like you can just assemble them there and it can just become like a conversation thing so i'm gonna go ahead finish these up and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when we're completely done. And I'm all assembled. Look at how gorgeous these look. What a, a party statement if you're ever deciding to make them as a dessert, uh, party um, finger foods. Now I've got one here. I'm not going to be able to have too much. These have way too much vegetables in here. And um, for sure it's going to be an obstruction. So I'm just going to take a little, little bite just to give you guys a um, idea of what's going on in my mouth. Okay. Wow. Now I dream about eating foods like this. Um. Sorry about that. It's just that if I don't have anything to drink, I don't want to get a obstruction but it's an explosion in my mouth of how crispy um and then i got a sour blueberry um and then i got um a little bit crunchy um mango and the jicama is amazing in this dish i'm so excited can't wait for my daughter sakina to try it because she loves jicama and i think we have a home run with this salad so Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. I really, really enjoy spending time with you guys. Um, if you have any questions, um, it might take a while for me to comment back to you, reply you, but please uh, go ahead and make a comment um, right under the description box. The full recipe is always all my videos and the recipes are all in the description box below and you can follow me on twitter you can follow me on instagram if you like i'm also i also have a facebook page so and i also am on google plus so um again i hope to hear from you guys soon please tell me what you guys thought about this amazing salad